We live in a simulation, and I'm going to prove it to you. This podcast is brought to you by C60PurplePower.com. Use the code LEAK10, get an extra 10% off. I've got the cinnamon, organic cinnamon flavor. It's awesome. I'm also giving the Pet Power C60 to my dog, Luna. She has a bit of hip dysplasia and arthritis, and I've noticed it's been helping her out. If you go to C60 Purple Power, use the code LEAK10, get yours today. We've also got a special bottle designed for your dog with the dropper, so it's a lot easier to give it to your pets. And folks... Keep you in the change you want to see. Okay, so let's take a look at the whiteboard here. And I'm going to show you my configuration for the theory of simulation 3D here. So we live in a simulation. I'm going to prove it to you. Everything is frequency. We are condensed energy. We are condensed light. DNA is essentially quad code, dual binary code. If you've ever seen a Curlian photograph, you can take a leaf, cut the leaf in half, take the photograph, and you can still see the outline of the leaf, even though it's not there anymore physically, with a Curlian photograph. So fascinating. The Fibonacci sequence, sacred geometry and numbers, code and nature, your chakras, which can be seen with Curlian photography. I've seen my chakras, I've seen other people's chakras, and I've seen the energy that your chakras emit in the room where you're at. There's a cosmic clock, which we have just transitioned, or we will be transitioning in March into the age of Aquarius. And that's a cosmic timeline that has typically about 2,160 years on average, approximately, give or take a few. But the... Um, the soul itself is condensed energy, light, memories, DNA interface here. So you take the human body as a receiver with an antenna, and it has to connect to the soul or to source to be activated, to actually have consciousness. You could build a body, but unless something's connected to it, it's just going to be there. Kind of like it's talked about in many of these ancient texts when they built Adam, uh, he, he wasn't, or different versions of Adam before Adam came to be, they weren't able to get him to move right. He just was there. And this really makes a lot of sense when you consider our bodies and the frequencies that our bodies emit, the connection with the chakras, the chakras connections with the seven planets, the number seven, seven days of the week, the cosmic clock, the... Uh, the reality is that everything is frequency and this frequency emits code. So does it mean we're actually in a computer system like the one you've got on your desk watching this or in your hand? No, but it is simulation in nature as above, so below. What we see in the heavens, we see on earth. The constellations, the planets, the stars emit specific frequencies, which interact with the frequencies that we are a part of, as well as this planet's frequencies. And it, everything is connected. You can get into remote viewing. You can tap into the Akashic Records. It explains the paranormal. Many of the paranormal experiences that people have, poltergeists, being able to tap into physical with the mental, the Berkeley Current. We are holographic in nature if you look at stem cells and how you can create organs with stem cells, and then you can create cloning with stem cells. So you can take a, a piece of the hologram and create the whole. Now, when you continue to have these copies of copies of copies, then you will eventually lose code
All right, dog was barking at the neighbor. So let's continue here. I put together a 40 cube with a circle that goes around the cube and is inside of the cube, like in the center as well. So I don't know if that really means anything, but it's almost like a cross within uh, a plus sign. And then I thought to myself, okay, this reminds me of the angles and the curves and the in-between. So the positive, the negative, and the in-between. Stars deflect energy, light, which is code, it's information. And you don't, you don't want to be stuck in the in-between, folks. It's freaking scary. I've been there. So you've got the triad here. You've got the sun, Apollo, the moon, Luna, Shamash, Saturn, the timekeeper, the recycler. You've got the triad, and you're in here with this like 3D interface, right? So the positive, the negative. You've got the recorder of the universe here in Saturn, I feel. It's like the recorder of the universe. It's like the CPU of the solar system. And the, the rings themselves emit this energy and this interface that you're connecting to. And the moon has some type of recycling or uh, not recycle, but it's like a soul harvesting center. It's like where your soul goes or where some people's souls go. And then they can be brought back here. They can be sent somewhere else. But the, the rings of Saturn are somehow creating this frequency grid, which combined with the sun and the moon and their positioning and other factions are creating this 3D interface that we're in. And so you've got the 4D hypercube, the circle of life, the cross all within and outside and connected. What else we got? So you are the receiver, you are the antenna. Frequency is being sent to you, which is, which is activating you. So where is your soul housed? Is it in a different dimension? Is it here and in a different dimension? And where would that place be? Is it in this dimension, but in a location outside in space somewhere where we're reflecting ourselves down into this body by a frequency which, which activates us and keeps us in fluid motion, fluidity? You study the stars and the planets and the constellations and the movements, you will understand things at the micro level here. You have to connect the dots. You have to link it. Just look at Curlian photography. Look at a leaf that's been cut in half. And then physically one half's there and the other half isn't. Then you see it under that photograph and it's the whole outline is there. You can see the chakras, like I said. And this transition into an air sign overseeing the movements of this matrix reality interface causing faster, swift movements that oftentimes you're not going to see with your physical eyes. You're going to be able to feel it like wind. If there's no wind, you feel it. There's heavy winds, you're going to feel it. Hurricane, find a safe place to go. Tornado, halo. In the age of Aquarius, I still, it was so amazing how I saw this guy or this, this archetype that, you know, I was, when I was focusing on paying homage to the age of Aquarius, it just popped out at me so vividly, so visually. And usually things don't happen that way. When I saw that visual, it was just so powerful that I, you know, we're still keeping this here and the X. And I think we've, we've had a lot of connections with the X and I'm wondering why he, um, the my, I'm trying to figure out the Mayan connection. Very masculine. Some people have thought that this might be transitioning into the, uh, the age of more of a feminine age, and it might be, but th this, this, uh, this being was very masculine. And uh, what else we got? Yeah, so I put here Berkeley Current, remote viewing, holographic in question mark. It, the sum can create the whole. Now, you do lose energy and information and details over time with holograms. So will that be the same with, you know, is that, does that explain devolution? But if you can keep, mm. 
different bloodlines creating a new family line, you, you have something new there. So you don't just have a copy of a copy of a copy. You now have di two different interfaces. So you've still got, I, I still think you have like more of a creation process there, not just devolution. You can have evolution as well. And angels, angles are clearly not the same thing, but if you look at the verbiage and if you take the, um, the lettering, I, I want to study letters more and the Kabbalah and understanding the truth of sounds and frequency and harmonics and resonance. We'll get into experiments in the future where we can actually test it and show it. And I think that'll, that'll sum it up for this podcast. I've got several more on the way today. I want to thank you very much for being here with me. Hope you're having an amazing 2021. The year of the conspiracy theorist upgraded to conspiracy science. Might be something offered now in the education centers to where maybe you can get a doctorate in conspiracy. Maybe it's already an option. I'll have to look into it. Have a great day. Be the change you want to see everybody. Mm -hmm.